In this video, we're going to tell you the story of the smoking ghost from Saks Bridge. Hello there, power peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. And I'm your co-host, Marianne Donnelly. That's right. We're going to go over a very interesting experience that we have done over several different visits to the Saks Bridge, telling you the story of a smoking spirit that could potentially be there at Saks Bridge. But before we get into that, if you are into the paranormal history and forensic type videos, make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and ding the little bell so that you can hear from us next time we put out a video so you don't miss anything. So back to our story. We took the Dark Shadow Ghost Tours team to Gettysburg. That was our second time in Gettysburg, right? Together. Together. And we thought while we're there as a team, I wanted to look around and find different activities, things that we could do. And I came across the video that was on YouTube, of all places, of a different paranormal team from the Gettysburg area that had a recording of a spirit that they named Tennessee, and I think they got the name through EVP sessions, um, that if you put a cigarette on the railing and talk to Tennessee, he actually smokes the cigarette. That was the claim. Yeah. And then when he's done, if he wants another one, he just flicks it off. So th we thought it would be interesting to go out and try to duplicate that video. And I think we did. Yeah. There's skeptics in the group. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Instead of showing you all the different hours that we went out there. Oh, you. What, well, I was just going to I was just going to say, if we just simply go to duplicate the video, I agree that we did. OK. But as far as was it really an entity smoking the cigarette? But we'll leave it up to our viewers to decide. There we go. Our subscribers can be the judge and jury. There we go. All right, so we duplicated this test <clears throat> on three different occasions. That's correct. Okay? Multiple times while we were there. So we have hours of footage from different recordings and different pictures and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to show you guys all of that stuff. You're um, not going to bore them with all of that? No, we would be here forever and ever and ever. Originally, we had a video out on Dark Shadow Ghost Tours, and it was over 20 minutes long. Okay, so we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you a couple clips. All right, so the first time that we did it, this was the night in July, second weekend in July, roughly. Ish. Ish of 2013 when we arrived in Gettysburg we went right to the bridge mm -hmm. and we tried the experiment so I'm going to show you a little clip from that so watch this yeah can you turn it the other direction are you feeling any wind there Mike no I'm not feeling any I'm not feeling it any breeze at all? No, no breeze. I got a breeze over here. No. No, there's nothing. Tennessee. Why don't you give me another cigarette and I can, can you pull turn, it over here. So. Can you turn the cigarette the other way? Please. There, you took a hit. Yes. <laughs> all right. There you go, Let's take another one. Do you like that? Yeah, we we make them ourselves. Did you know that? Did you roll your own? Like Mike does? Oh Mike can't Or take, Lee does? Mike can't, can't take the credit. Lee does that. <laughs> Can you, 
can you knock the cigarette off? Can you do that for me? Huh? Maybe come this way. If you don't mind. laughing and giving me that coming behind. Hmm? I'm whispering. Can you turn the cigarette some more for me? Oh, took another hit off of it. You can see it burning red. Walking behind us. Thank you, Tennessee. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. There you go. Suck it down, buddy. Yeah. It's really, it's really going to town there. Look at that. I don't know. You you be the judge. Leave the comments down below and, and let us know what you think. So then after we got back to where we were staying, uh, the group was having a conversation about the experiment. And mm -hmm. one of the, the girls that was with us said, I think I might have bumped the railing. I may have bumped the railing to me. And make... she felt so yeah. bad. She's yeah, like, she I don't bad. know. I may have. I may not have. I'm just not sure. But we tried it so many different times. I don't know how many different times we did that night. And we were having we were having a very nice conversation. We were analyzing the video. Yeah, we were going like frame by frame. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. frame by we frame. We had smokers over... and non-smokers. Yeah. And we're like, well... If you're a smoker, how, how does that exactly work? And they're like, well, you have to drag. And when you drag, you'll see this long extension of red. And so that's when it's being drug. But if it's just burning, it's just going to be kind of there. So we were having a lot of conversation. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we decided to go back. Was it the next day? I think we went back two days later because days we had later. an event already scheduled. Yeah. Of, yeah. Okay. So we went back two days later, but we went back during the daytime. Mm -hmm. To try to duplicate it again so i'm going to show you a little clip from that so watch this we'll be right back yeah i got another one here for you looks like it's going a little bit now but it's drawing a little bit see that yeah Can you turn it before it falls, before you're done? Let's just turn it a little bit. Oh, there was a good move there. Now I didn't see enough, no added breeze. Smoke was the same. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you done us a favor. <laughs> you moved the rail and it didn't fall off. Oh, I can see your camera. <laughs> That's okay. It's just debunking things for us. You know, the legend is there's a there's a guy here from the uh, Tennessee Volunteers, and they call him Tennessee. And you put a cigarette up here, and he smokes the cigarette, and then he'll move the cigarette, and when he's done, he'll knock the cigarette off. 
And he's That's why you yeah. see all the cigarette butts down here. And he's been doing it. Although I collect ours. Can you move it, Tennessee? And again, some interesting results that we got. Mm -hmm. And actually, that second time we went there, we actually shook the rail. We tried all, to experiment, like how much of a bump would have to be to make a, the cigarette, not, you know, fall off or get knocked off, that kind of stuff. And we're playing with the railing and everything, mm -hmm. and just trying really hard to make it do a, a fall or something like that. Yeah. So we we were making sure. Okay, was the wind blowing? Is this blowing? What's what's going on here? We were testing the whole, you know, everything <clears throat> that to we see could. what was going on. Um, so when we went to Gettysburg this past summer, 2017, um, when your sister went, we said, we've got to go down there and show you this. This is, like, amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we went down and, and kind of got the same results. But this time... Marianne added something to it. Yeah, the, this time I added some uh, crepe paper. Uh, so I taped some crepe paper to the railing so that we could see the wind, so we would see flutter and what direction that was coming from, that kind of thing. It was just a jerry-rigged type of thing, yeah. but I made sure I brought crepe paper along because I figured crepe paper was lightweight and it would flutter nicely in the wind and we'd be able to see it. Uh, it was a nice bright color. And Yeah, so go ahead and watch this. And we'll come back again. So I made this for a uh, wind, kind of uh, showing that it's not that windy. And then I'm going to go ahead and shake this so you can see. It jiggles a little bit, but it does not fall off on its own. Okay, the wind is not blowing at the moment, and the cigarette is, the cigarette is no wind whatsoever, and that's a pretty good drag. That's a very deep drag right there. Mm -hmm. So you see, Mara, where that goes red like that, and then it stops, and then the smoke goes up? That's like a drag off of a cigarette. Mm -hmm. so See how it's going red again? Mm -hmm. You gotta suck it in a bit for that. Especially these new cigarettes. They're designed to go out. And that thing's not blown. Alright, Tennessee, you suck that one down. We'll give you another one. And when you're done with that, just flick it off the railing. Can you make it turn towards the bridge. Can you turn it for us? He's enjoying it for a moment. I, I don't feel any wind. Do you guys feel wind? There's absolutely There's no, no wind. wind. And it's going bad. That's crazy. That's why I wanted to bring the crepe paper. It's not blowing. Because everybody was saying, oh, it's just the wind, it's just the wind, or somebody shakes the rail and that's what does it. So I wanted a little more scientific experiment. So if there's anybody here with us, you could come and speak into this camera, or Marianne's got a recorder going down there. Are you recording, Joe? No, I stopped because, like, my um, pack of cigarettes that I have over here, you could feel, like, them tipping at it. So when you're done with that, you just flick it off the railing. And Marianne will shove it in her pocket. Yes, I will. Well, maybe not my pocket, but I will take it with me. Now the wind's blowing.
It's moving the crate yep, paper. You see that? So we can actually see that my crate paper does work. Right, there you have it three different times I mean we, we, we tested it multiple times while we were there but on three different occasions what do you think leave it down in the comments and uh, do you think Tennessee is there just waiting for somebody to give him a cigarette it's interesting now we go back we're gonna be doing it again just yeah. to see the smokers versus the non-smokers <laughs> uh, clearly we're not smokers so we didn't really know much about it really mm -hmm. uh, but um, the smokers they they had like down to a science of like well it'll do this and it should do that and we also had um, uh, some of our smokers actually roll their own cigarettes as well and so they had filtered and unfiltered and that was something that we found as well um, there seemed to be more that was done with the unfiltered. Yeah, more and activity. so the question became then, if it really was Tennessee, did he like that one better because it was more like what he had been used to because they didn't really necessarily have filtered cigarettes back in the 1800s. That's right. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. Let us know if you like this video by hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future, support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you get notified the next time there's a video from Panic D Video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. <laughs>